Proper management of environment and facilities enhances animal production performance and minimizes animal disease, death loss, and behavioral problems. To ensure animal health and comfort, the National Dairy Farm Program recommends an animal environment where protection from heat and cold are provided for all age classes. Tools include the use of shade, fans, water cooling, and windbreaks. A best practice is for all animals to have access to shade that allows simultaneous use by the entire group. In addition to shade, many dairies use fans and water to either cool the air before it reaches an animal or soak the animal to enhance evaporative cooling. Protocols are in place to minimize airborne particles as a way to reduce odors and dust. Control of microbes in the air can be achieved by segregating or isolating animals with highly contagious diseases. As a best practice, care is taken to ensure the ventilation system does not move air from infected animals to an area occupied by healthy animals. Other ways to improve air quality are with manure management, husbandry practices, and good air movement provided by well-designed natural or mechanical ventilation systems. Housing allows cattle to easily stand up, lie down, adopt normal resting postures, and have visual contact with other cattle. In best practice, stalls are large enough to accommodate the animal. Both comfort and health are improved in less restrictive stalls. Cattle have a bed that provides comfort, insulation, warmth, dryness, and traction. Concrete, rubber mats, water beds, and mattresses can be acceptable resting surfaces when they are adequately bedded. Cattle are more comfortable in well-bedded environments, as indicated by higher lying times, willingness to lie down, and improved leg health. The dairy farmer monitors and takes action for slips and falls. Under best practice, concrete flooring surfaces are appropriately grooved or textured to reduce the risk for animal slipping, which can result in injuries. Skid-resistant surfaces reduce injuries and must retain their non-slip characteristic after cleaning, scraping, or wear. Rubber flooring is desirable in areas of the facility where cows stand for prolonged periods, in transfer lanes to reduce hoof wear, and in other areas to reduce the risk of slipping and injury. Cattle are herd animals. Socially isolated cattle show signs of stress, including increased heart rate, vocalization, defecation, urination, and cortisol levels. As a best practice, isolation is minimized and at least visual contact with other animals maintained. Properly designed and maintained facilities operated by trained animal caretakers greatly facilitate efficient movement of animals. In best practice, fences and gates are made of strong, smooth material and are devoid of sharp objects that can cut, puncture, or bruise an animal. Their height and ground clearance prevent animals from trying to go over or under them. Fences hold animals in designated areas. Corrals, holding pens, and feeding areas generally are permanently fenced, whereas temporary electric fences are often used around pastures. Gates let an animal easily pass through. It is beneficial to locate gates in the corners of pens. Install them to swing inward and outward so that the animal can easily enter or leave the pen. Under best practice, the latching mechanisms on gates are foolproof so that animals cannot open the gate. The latching mechanism on a stationary post does not create a sharp point when the gate is open because this may injure passing animals. Recommended best practices for newborn and milk-fed calf housing are A clean, dry, well-lit, well-ventilated calving area is used. Such an area has many health benefits for the calf at the time of birth. Wet, dirty calving areas foster the growth of bacteria that can invade the newborn calf's navel or mouth and create a disease load that overwhelms the calf's naive immune system. Best practices for individual housing for pre-weaned calves recommend that each calf is housed in separate pens or hutches. This method facilitates detection of health issues, minimizes the risk of spread of disease, avoids competition for feed and prevents cross-sucking. There is a growing interest in group housing, particularly with the advances made in computerized calf feeding equipment. Group housing does provide more space for calves and allows for social interactions. Introduction of new animals are to be handled in a way agreed on by the dairy farmer and veterinarian that are consistent with the biosecurity needs in the herd health plan.